Hello, thank you for stopping by my kitchen. You are very welcome as always. Today I'm going to be making baked apples. It's a Sunday afternoon. I don't normally film on a Sunday afternoon, but I'm making baked apples for pudding, so I thought I would film it for you. It's a lovely recipe. Um, just making two. What's good about this recipe is you can make as many as you like for as many people. So if you've got four people, you need four apples. But there's only two today, so I've just got two apples. And I'm going to put in it mince meat. Now, I've been trying to find out on Google whether my American viewers can actually get hold of mince meat. Um, I didn't find anything in the supermarkets there, but I did find something online. So if you just type mince meat, and mince meat is all in one word, if you can't get it um, in the supermarkets, you can get it online. So you'll be fine. <laughs> so first of all, we need to put our oven on. So that's 100 and about 190 electric, 180 if you've got a fan oven like me. And I'll just check. Sorry, I need to butt in here because despite reading the Fahrenheit off of my notes, I got it wrong. So it's 350 Fahrenheit to 375 Fahrenheit. Between four and five gas. I'm, it's approximate. These bake for a long time and also the size of the apples will determine how long they bake for. Um, so if you've got a small apple, it could be be half an hour. If you've got a big apple, it could be an hour or more it needs to bake for. These are medium. I should think these will be about 45 minutes today, but we'll see. I'll know when they're done. So I have washed my apples to start and we need to make little baskets out of foil for them to cook in. Because what I, I do is I put the mince meat and then a little bit of mince meat, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of mince meat, a little bit of sugar and pack it all in once they're cored. Um, and it makes a kind of syrup and it collects in the foil and you can tip it over the apple afterwards. Delicious. <laughs> so just a square of foil for each one. And we just put an apple in the middle and fold over the edges. I'll do the next one closer so you can see better. And bring the edges up to make a little basket for it so it will collect anything. And all this lovely syrup that runs into the bottom. Now I'll just place that there and I'll bring you down and show you the next one. I'm just ripping off a square of foil. Put the apple in the middle. Just fold over the edges to make a kind of wall around the sides. And then fashion into a little basket and this one will need to sit beside it. So if you've got four apples, obviously you're going to need a bigger baking tray than I have. <laughs> there. That's fine like that. So we'll take our apples out to prepare. So I'll just put these aside and we'll core the apples. Now you can core apples with a knife, but it's an awful lot easier with an apple corer. So just find where the bit that comes out the top is and push the apple corer in. It's quite easy really and turn it. It does all the work for you. Right through, we're going right through. And then turn it up the other way and you can see it hasn't quite come out even so I'll need to go in from this side on this bit of the core. Try not to make the hole too big but we need all that core out. That's it. And just push on through. There. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get the core out of this when they get stuck. Just kind of clean up in there too. I'll do this one closer so you can see. This is such a lovely recipe for this time of year. It's just starting to get cold here now. And yes. And with the mincemeat too, it can go, this recipe can go right through till Christmas. I'll get this back and I'll pop this one on the tray. Thank you. 
Yes, Christmas and beyond really, because this would also be a good recipe for January when you're using up all your leftover mincemeat. We've gone in that side and hmm, that's gone near enough straight through, but we do want the hole a little bit bigger than that. If you can see, that one's that big. That one's smaller because we needed to take more core out in this one. So we'll make this one a little bigger. And again, just clean it up around the sides to make all the make sure all the core is out. That's good. There. That's good. So the next thing we want to do before filling them is just put them on the board so they're flat as they're going to be on the tray and just score halfway down around the skin and you just score in the skin. This will allow the apple to rise in the oven and try and get it so you match it. <laughs> Can't even see the score on this side. There we are. That's matched to that score. So we can get rid of all this now. I've got Tesco's finest mince meat here. I always go with Tesco's finest mince meat. Um, the ruby port one, it is very, very nice. This isn't an ad for Tesco's. <laughs> my channel is not big enough for any ads, believe me. It's just my favorite. It's the one I always use every single year. So we're going to start off with putting a little bit of mince meat right down the bottom. And kind of ram it in there so you can't see any of the foil and in this one to push it right down through to the bottom then in here I've got a soft light brown sugar. Let me show you. Just ordinary soft light brown sugar. I've put it in here because I've only got a little bit left at the bottom of that bag and it's just easier to get out of a little ramekin dish than it is going right down to the bottom of the bag. And you just want a little spoonful, just a little spoonful and that will just fall down the bottom. And then we'll go in with our mince meat again. And the sugar. me the more layers the better sugar I haven't put the amounts of sugar on mince me in the description or anything, just that you need what ingredients you need because obviously if you've got four apples you're going to need lots more mince meat and lots more sugar. So, And if you've got smaller apples you're going to need less. If you've got bigger apples the core might be bigger and you're going to need more so yeah. <laughs> It's just a case of whatever you need for your apples. There. 
and then we'll have one more lot of mincemeat and we'll finish up with the sugar on top. So you want to try and pack these as much as you can and push it, smooth the tops off and we'll just put a little bit of sugar on the top of that. There. Lovely. Just finish off and then a little bit of sugar. So just before we put them in the oven, just make sure the little parcels are up high enough so it catches all that lovely syrup that's going to accumulate at the bottom. And as I said before, this size, medium apples, they'll go in the oven for 45 minutes, I should think, but I we'll know when they're done. I'll show you when they're done. Um, smaller apples will only be half an hour. And if you've got big apples, they're obviously they're gonna take longer, so I can't say. But I will show you when they're done because it's very apparent because the scoring around the sides, the apples puff up really lovely. So yes, mine are going in for 45 minutes. So my apples have had about half an hour and I just want to show you them because they're looking done but they're not cooked and I want to show you why. So if you can see these, they're looking very cooked on the top but if you just put a knife into the side here, they're not cooked all the way through to the core, I can feel resistance. So they'll probably need another 10 minutes, but I am gonna turn my oven down for that next 10 minutes. So we'll turn the oven down to about 160, and this is a fan oven, remember. So my apples are done a little earlier. They've had 40 minutes, not the 45, I said. Oh, they smell delicious, and look at these all nice and brown on the top. And you can see how they've puffed up at the side and I can get my knife right in there. They're all cooked all the way through. So to serve, we're just gonna pick up the foil and scoop the apple out. It will just fall out. any syrup goes on the top oh, all that sweet syrup there perfect I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and do try this one it's so this time of year and could my American viewers please let me know if you can get mincemeat in the US as I will be using it to make little Christmas cupcakes next time. Hope to see you then.